Welcome to Silver Nugget Adventure. Today we're going to do a campsite review vlog. We're going to go and stay at Riverview Touring Park in South Wales. I wish it was a blue sky sunny day um, but we're in Wales, it's raining, um, you're going to get an honest and real view several reasons I like this. If you're local, keep watching. I think there's several things to make you aware of about this touring park. I just think it's a really good location. If you're travelling west through Carmarthenshire towards Pembrokeshire, it could be an option for a stopover. If you wanted to use it as a base, I'll show you later on that you're within 30 minutes drive of several amazing locations, including some of the Gower beaches, Carmarthenshire beaches, as well as the Black Mountains and several castles as well. So later on, I'll be giving you a list of some attractions that's within 30 minute drive and also within an hour's drive of this location. So let's have a look. So just to give you a little bit of context on location, we've packed up in Pontabram services. These are the services on the roundabout where the M4 ends in South Wales and then it turns into the A48 which is the main route through Carmarthenshire towards Pembrokeshire. If you wanted to go to this touring park then instead of going on the second exit straight on towards Pembrokeshire on the roundabout you would take the next exit which is the third exit off the roundabout the A483 towards Armenford and it's just off that road we're going to show you the route we're going to get the kids to time how long it takes from Pond Abram services okay kids are you ready with the stopwatch yeah yeah okay let's go So that was real time, about five minutes. It's probably much quicker than that if you haven't got much traffic because we had to wait a bit to get out of the services. Okay, I'm just gonna go and check in. Well, you look very dry. It's a little bit wet up there. <laughs> In, we have parked up on our pitch and we're really really pleased we paid under 30 pound for this pitch tonight um, really reasonable we are in Oakwoods Meadow that is the family friendly area of this touring park there's three areas one which is predominantly adult only then you've got the family one and then you've got a smaller field as well there's a mixture of grass and hard standing pitches what I really like is there's just so much space, so much green between the pitches as well. On this pitch that we're on, I'm just overlooking the park area. Unfortunately, the slide is broken today, so we can't use that. But there's a bit of a, um, a playing area in the middle that we can see from the pitch, which is great. There's 10 amp electric hookups on all the pitches and like I said a variety of pitch types so you can inquire when you're booking and also there's information on their website and I'll put the link to the website in the video description. This also seems to be a site that's really proactive in reducing the environmental impact. So they use solar energy to heat the hot water, they've got reduced um, water flushes, they've got recycling points so you know that's really really nice to see as well. When I checked in, as you can see, there is a small shop. It's got a lot of local produce and essential goods. Really good if you're staying here, but also if you're local, something that you can support a local small business with. We've just been to pick up some pizzas from a local new business that's officially opening in the next few weeks. So check out Jack in a Box on social media. So the pizzas are here. Please even in. Oh, pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Nope. Oh, yum yum. There's a small break in the rain, so let's go and explore. So just there, just behind me is a glamping pod. And hopefully you can see what I mean by the pictures. They've got lovely grassy area between them. Loads and loads of space. Considering we're so close to that major road, it feels like we're just in the middle of nowhere. Yes, there's a little bit of road noise and that would probably depend on the wind direction, but I can hear the birds sing, I can just see green everywhere. It's lovely. This bit looks really cool. Um, it looks like they've got an outside bar maybe a bit of a barbecue hut area. It's definitely something I'm going to be asking the owners about. So Lily, what do you think of this campsite then? Well, I think it's cool because there's little small walks by us. And I also think it's nice because we're near the park. And um, I also think it's nice because we're in the middle of some grass and we're the only ones that's in the middle. Oh, fair play. Thank you, Lil. Good morning, Bora Da. We've just woken up. The rain has stopped, which is amazing, so we can enjoy a nice coffee. We're using the overhead awning, which has been great. Even in a bit of the drizzle last night, we could sit outside. We've had a shower, our first one since the facilities opened in the, after the pandemic. Underfloor heating, mm -hmm. showers were hot. They had a family room. Um, They've also got some washing up sinks which are under cover as well. So thinking about what I like about this site, it's really easy to get to. It's got a family orientated area. There's plenty of space. If you're looking for a site that's got loads of entertainment, loads of facilities, this isn't for you, but this has got so much going for it. I really think you should take a look on their website. Remember, keep watching to the end of the vlog. I will be giving you a list of possible attractions, places to visit that are within a 30 minute drive of this site and also a different list of within a, an hour's drive of this campsite. So we're going to go for a little walk through a bit of a woodland and uh, we'll take you with us.
walk through the woodland around the campsite. The campsite's just behind us here. So a few key points. Do we like this campsite? Yes! Yeah. Okay, that's very enthusiastic. What do we like about this campsite? That we they have a park. They have a park. So they've got a park. They've got lots of space. And they've got a shower block. And they've got a shower block. Two things I would say. Uh, yes, uh, there and, could and, be improvements uh, made and to the park. And, and the slide's broken. The slide's broken at the moment. But have you had fun? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the park could be improved, but our children have had a whale of a time and we would definitely come back. Yes, there's only one shower block and yes, I would expect maybe you could get busy when it's really busy, but we had no problems this morning at all. Um, it was clean, it was underflow heating, it was hot water. Yeah. Are we going to come back? Yeah! I'm filming. another trip done we're on the way home we've had a lovely stay and we'll definitely be back